With Nikola Vucevic set to miss a few games, Andre Drummond has to be up to the challenge. The question for today is, will Andre Drummond be a force while Nikola Vucevic is out? You know we're going to talk about it, dive into it, and talk about it some more. But you know, you got to hear the music first. Come on, yeah. Gang. Shy Boys Podcast with the Cognac Boys. I'm Cognac Boy Bobby, and I'm holding it down on today's episode of Shy Boys Podcast with me and my co-host, C-Dub. If you're tuning in with us today, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell as well. We got live calls and daily content for all your Chicago Bulls. Now, look, we know in the last game against the Atlanta Hawks, Andre Drummond put on a show in his first start in a very long time. My guy gave the Chicago Bulls 24 points and 25 rebounds, ladies and gentlemen. Now, before we get more into him, we do got to talk about it. If you did miss the, the news that came out with Nikola Vucevic, he's going to be out for a few games. They estimate that that's going to be about four games, but who knows? He's expected to miss about seven to 10 days with the groin injury, specifically an adductor muscle, uh, that was strained in one of those recent games that he played in. Back to Andre Drummond. Last game, 24 points, 25 rebounds. My God, was that a great performance by Andre Drummond. Everything that he provided to the Chicago Bulls was needed in that win against the Atlanta Hawks, especially down the stretch. It seemed like that the Chicago Bulls didn't have many answers when it came to providing size and guys that had the ability to defend the pick and roll and get extra baskets and buy, buy extra possessions for the Chicago Bulls, Andre Drummond did his thing. But we all know the biggest thing now, now that the news has come out surrounding Nikola Vucevic, is can Andre Drummond sustain that type of success? Can he be a force and have success? We already know it's something that he's always been able to do. In his words, not mine. He is one of the great, the greatest rebounder in NBA history. That's his choice. I ain't that this show will not be about who's the greatest rebounder. But one thing I do know is Andre Drummond can rebound his ass off. That's literally one of his things. When you say what's one of Andre Drummond's greatest attributes, it's definitely rebounding. Is probably at the top of many, many people's list. If we look at Andre Drummond in totality and look what he was able to do this season as a role player, he gave the Chicago Bulls six points and seven rebounds in just 14 minutes of play. We already know throughout his history when he received more minutes, he's a double double guy for sure. I believe in most when he spent time with the Cavs as a start over there, he averaged 17 and 11. And I think he was only playing like 26 minutes per game. Somebody fact checked me on that. But when he did receive those extended uh, minutes or more playing time, when he he always answered the call and he was very, very productive. But there are some concerns. The concerns is that Andre Drummond typically finds himself in foul trouble. And if he ends up in foul trouble, that's going to be tough for the Chicago Bulls because Billy Donovan – Although Adama Sanogu was available, he did not play Adama. He went with a 6'4 guy by the name of Terry Taylor. Terry Taylor is not a bad player, but he's not the guy that you want to have in the game as your, excuse me, as your center. That was the biggest thing for me. So it's, if Andre Drummond finds himself in some type of foul trouble in some one of these games that's coming up, how does that affect the Chicago Bulls? So I think the biggest thing that we need to talk about if Vooch is going to be that force that I want to see him be while Nikola Vucevic is out, Andre Drummond has to play smart basketball. Andre Drummond has to do what he does best, rebound the ball and be effective in that paint offensively. A lot of the times, hey, 
I believe he got the best of Clint Capella in that last game against the Atlanta Hawks. I believe he can get the best of many centers around the league. You know what I'm saying? Just like how he did against the Atlanta Hawks and Clint Capella. And in fact, if you're looking at the next six games that are coming up, he got some favorable matchups in my, in my opinion. He got Miles Turner, which will be later tonight. He'll possibly see Joel Embiid twice, depending on Joel Embiid's injury status. Isaiah Hardenstein with the New York Knicks, and then possibly see Mark Williams twice with the Charlotte Hornets. I'm saying the on the biggest challenge on this little six game stretch, you know what I'm saying? That Andre Drummond might potentially be facing a little bit of pushback on, or somebody who's absolutely better than him is Joel Embiid. And we don't know if we will see him in both games when we do play the 76ers. And even if Embiid is in there, look, Embiid is going to cook, but Andre Drummond is no slouch on a defensive end. That's why I believe that it's going to be you know, fairly close when it comes to Andre Drummond and Miles Turner when they match up later tonight. It's going to be fairly close when Andre Drummond matches up against Isaiah Hardenstein. Yes, he has the size, but he doesn't have the body weight to bang with Big Penguin. Then if you're looking at Mark Williams, that's a young guy over there with the Charlotte Hornets. I believe the young guy got some talent, and I'm going to give him credit for that. But I still don't know if he can outmatch Mark Williams. And we already know the biggest things that come down to it is can Drum play smart basketball? And then I also want to know if Billy Donovan is going to offer him some type of support. Look, I understand that you don't, you know what I'm saying? Look, Adama is a G League guy. You know what I'm saying? He's a, a project right now for the Chicago Bulls. And that's, you know, that's and the reluctancy to play said player is understandable in a sense. But then on the flip side, I'm like, Billy Donovan, you got to support Drum in some way, somehow. You got to find a guy that can go ahead and give you some size and kind of make up, you know, in some areas for when Andre Drummond is not in the game. So I want to understand or try to figure out what Billy Donovan's train of thought is because he put a Terry Taylor out there. Terry Taylor wasn't bad in that Hawks game, but I was a bit concerned because when Terry Taylor was out there and the Bulls was running a small ball lineup, it seemed like the Atlanta Hawks was able to go pick and roll crazy and get whatever they wanted at the basket. You've seen put-back dunks come from Jalen Johnson over there. You know what I'm saying? With the Atlanta Hawks, you see multiple second-chance opportunities with the Atlanta Hawks. So I think, I think Billy needs to support him in a way. Now, my solution will be to play Julian Phillips with that lineup that's just me. I'm not saying that he's going to come out and be a crazy game changer, but he has more size available than a Terry Taylor. Terry Taylor has the more, has more weight, but weight is only good enough if you're going against somebody that's maybe a few inches taller than you. But if you're matching up against guys 6'8", six, 6'9", six, does that weight really matter? Probably not. Maybe if you can box out correctly, if you can play hard, you know what I'm saying? We always want these players to play hard. But it's still a bit questionable. You know what I'm saying? That's why I like to look at Julian Phillips or even giving Adama Sanogu an opportunity to see what he can do. I'm not saying he's going to come out and be a game changer, but you never know. And I think right now is a perfect opportunity to see what your young players are capable of when they receive opportunities. Some players, they blow the opportunity. And some players, they rise to the occasion and they do damn well. We don't know what Adama Sanogu can do because we have not seen him in a NBA game. So it's just to be determined, man. It's just to be determined. But overall, I really do believe that uh, Andre Drummond can hold down his own while Nikola Vucevic is out. I, I just believe that it has to be some other guys to fill that void. You know, Nikola Vucevic was that double-double guy. And then, you know, let's just say he got 10 rebounds. And then Andre Drummond off the bench was able to add seven. That's 17 rebounds that you have to account for. Andre Drummond in the game against the Hawks got 25 rebounds. So he made up. <clears throat> he made up for those said 17 rebounds that him and Vooch would accumulate together. The thing is, I don't believe he's getting 25 rebounds a game. So somebody else will have to step up. Now, if he goes and give you 25 rebounds 
the entire time while Nikola Vucevic is out, that will be amazing. That will be spectacular. I believe it might be a record. I don't know. I haven't checked the history books, but a guy to go 20 rebounds or more in consecutive games, let's just say for the sake of discussion, four or five games, that will be spectacular. But I don't think that's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Andre Drummond felt that urge, and I'm going to go out on a limb and say he will get double-doubles. He's going to get double-doubles, but I don't think that rebound and a part of that double will go over 20 like we seen last night. I can be wrong, and I believe he can go ahead and grab a few more 20 rebound games. I just don't think that's going to be something that happens every single night. So I think the biggest thing with Andre Drummond is how can you be effective and how can you sustain sustain success? you know, for the Chicago Bulls because they're going to be missing that rebounder with Vooch out and they're going to need that. You know what I'm saying? So, and I also, again, just want to kind of bring it back in and just say he has to make sure that he's playing smart because we absolutely need him because the lack of size that's on the Chicago Bulls roster. We're going to have to see this guy be able to play smart and make good basketball decisions that typically we might not have him make because of the minutes that he plays every night with Nikola Vucevic on the team. Vuce is gone. He's going to have to fill in a bigger role. You know what we're saying, like football and stuff, and probably just about every sport, next man up mentality, that has to be his mentality. Next man up, I'm going to come in. I'm going to get my rebounds. I'm going to make sure I help my team. I'm going to play smart. I'm going to try my best not to get into foul trouble, and then we're going to live with the results. But again, It has to come down to who's going to help him because 17 rebounds from one person is not easy to grab. You was getting that with two people. Now we saying one person got to get that. Somebody else has to step up and help Andre Drummond for sure. And that's it, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling about today's topic. Do y'all feel like Andre Drummond can be a force while Nikola Vucevic is out? Do you think he will perform well? Do you think he will perform bad? Let me know why or why not down below, and we're going to chop it up all day. But again, thank you for tuning in to Shy Bulls Podcast. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the voicemail line too, 773-242-9219. It's another episode of Shy Bulls Podcast. I'm Bobby. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one for sure. Peace. Oh yeah, oh yeah, gang.